So good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to the next uh, M365 session. Uh, this session is called Journey to Teams with Polly. Uh, Polly is uh, proud to be a sponsor of the month-long event. Uh, I know from feedback, there's been some, some really good sessions so far. Uh, very much looking forward to introducing the next presenters and um, moving forward with the session. So pleased to announce we've got Brennan Kwok, who is Poly uh, Solution Architect for APAC, has been focused on Microsoft and, and Poly for, for many, many years. And he's going to run through that customer journey to Teams. So introducing Brennan, we've also got uh, Damien Margaritas, who's part of the session as well and uh, we'll be taking live Q&A. So feel free to post questions, looking forward to joint uh, engagement on the session and um, over to you, Brennan, thank you. Thank you, James, and a very good morning to everyone. I hope everyone's having a good day. And it's my privilege and a pleasure to be presenting this morning to you, walking through the journey to Teams with uh, Poly Solutions. Okay, I'm based in Singapore, and I, as, I as James mentioned, I'm a solution architect for Poly Asia Pacific, and I'm an MVP for Office Services and Apps, and I've been the MVP for the last seven years. So before we just get started, I'd like to thank big thank you to our sponsors on the screen here. So without these sponsors, this event would not be possible. So really, many thanks to our wonderful sponsors. And we would also like to acknowledge the traditional owners uh, in, our, in, our, in our presentation as well, okay, for uh, all they've, uh, they've done for us uh, in the past, present, and future. Okay, so, and there's of course a code of conduct, which I won't go into details, but essentially, you know, uh, you can read it for yourself, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So, what's the agenda for today? Well, we're going to cover four things. Okay, firstly, we're going to talk about a journey to Teams. What would a journey to Teams look like for a typical customer, and how can Poly help in that journey? Okay, we know everyone is 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 in the journey. Some of, some of them are much further ahead. Some of them just got started, and somewhere in the middle way. So, how can we help? And that's what's Poly. The next thing is expanding teamwork with interoperability. Now, you've got all these you know, ability, you've got this, all this uh, legacy uh, equipment, particularly your room systems. How can we expand and include those systems into the team's ecosystem as well? And the next two, we leave the best for last, right? The next two is enhancing productivity in the home office and even in the personal uh, solution and optimizing the meeting room experiences. These are the most exciting topics, which we have a lot of new and exciting stuff that's coming up. So we'll leave it to uh, the end. And right at the end, there's also a competition. We are in week five right now, so there will be a QR code for you to scan uh, to enter the competition and win prizes. Okay, so you got to stay until the end in order to uh, compete in that, uh, to play in that competition. Okay. So as uh, James mentioned, we have Damien and himself that's moderating the Q&A. So if you have any questions, do feel free to just enter it into the chat and we will get to your answers. Answer. We, we will get your questions answered, right? We want this to be an interactive session. OK, so do keep those questions coming. OK, so without further ado, journey to teams. OK, what does it look like? So it's good to always do a bit of history lesson and understand where we how we got to where we are today right? and how we're going to move forward. Right. So as you know, live communication server was the first, you know, server that software that Microsoft uh, established and developed back all the way back in 2005. OK, and then it slowly evolved right into getting more and more features, including uh, voice and PSDN and room and group chats. And, you know, there's a lot of things that's happened for to uh, this the solution since its inception in 2005, all the way until 2015, where you know it, Skype was really at this peak of of usage. Everyone was using Skype for business for all the communications, and then we brought Microsoft did one thing even they brought one thing even better. They brought in Microsoft Teams. Right? It's so much more powerful software. 
you can do so much more with it. You can collaborate on files. There's, there's history, there's chats, you know, and the overall experience is so much better. OK, however, it's also important to note that Teams is a, a radically different solution or software from its predecessors. And while its predecessors were basically on-prem software, right, but uh, sort of built and then, and then sort of modified to work in the Office 365 cloud environment, Microsoft Teams was a cloud-born service. Right? It was built from the cloud up. So, and that's why we see so many uh, advantages that it has, right? But because it has uh, also a very different kind of architecture, right? So some of the existing uh, devices or equipment or, or that works with Skype of Business needs to have a little bit of adjustment in order for it to be able to communicate with Teams. Okay, so how is that? How is that? And that's resulted in many customers, like hopefully, and probably many of you today who are listening in, that you are on that journey from Skype to Microsoft Teams. Right? And, it's, and how are you going to get there? Where are you going? And what is the road or in between going to look like? So let's take a quick, you know, sort of overview, uh, 360, uh, uh, 360 view of this, right? So you've got voice and video. Many customers have deployed with enterprise voice with, with Skype. They may have their VVXs, they may have their headsets, hopefully from Pantronix, okay? And they may have their Trio speakerphones, okay? And these work great with Skype, right? They work perfect with Skype, and they may also have video endpoints. So it could be poly video endpoints, they could be uh, other system endpoints. But poly video endpoints uh, were able to natively right, register into Skype, such as our group series, uh, our clarity infrastructure. These are all uh, really able and even the trio visual plus you're all able to register natively to skype for business and be able to work as, as a skype client so users were able to enjoy the full uh, modalities of audio video content sharing now fast forward to teams story is a little bit different right because the native the so the skype for business phones like the vvx's right no longer natively register to teams and neither do the uh, room systems uh, do, they do also do not register to Teams, and primarily because Skype was a SIP-based architecture. All right, it's based on SIP, uh, whereas Teams is totally different. It's uh, based on REST, uh, TCP, REST, and uh, HTTP architectures. Okay, so and so for that we will need to have new kinds of device, native devices, right? So you've got you've, Poly has been introduced almost 30 different products within the last 12 months, all of them optimized and or certified with Microsoft Teams, right? So you can get there, uh, get those devices and get the best experience out of that. Now, of course, people are not going to just go ahead and throw away all their old uh, hardware and buy new ones, right? So obviously they want to sweat out their assets over a period of time. And that's where the transition phase comes in. So we we have, luckily for, for us, we have uh, Microsoft providing something called a three pip voice gateway that will allow, they will buy, buy some time for those VVXs and, and trios who are registered uh, into Skype for Business to continue to be able to call a Teams user or join a Teams meeting. Right? And that is really something that Microsoft knows and that customers need, right? Because they can't switch their thousands of devices overnight into Teams. So we want to provide an interim period and where these, these current devices for Skype will continue to work in a Teams environment, although with much less functionality, right? Only the basic functionality is going to be in those voice, uh, voice devices, but it works. Okay, it, it works. It's good enough for many uh, cases, but make no mistake. This is an interim solution, right? Interim until when? Well, Skype Online is going to go away in June 30th of 2021. So that interim period has does have an expiry date. OK, so you do have some time from now to June 2021, uh, June 30th of 2021 to make that transition complete, whereby you will totally uh, replace all of your devices with native devices. OK, uh, in the meanwhile, you can still use it using interrupt service. And that's for voice. But the same also goes for video, right? You've got this video endpoints like the group series and, and the media lines and the trio visual plus. You can still use that today, but although with a cloud video interrupt service, 
and Poly provides one of Poly is one of those vendors that provides them. It's called the we call it Real Connect. Other vendors may call it differently, but we call it Real Connect. We were first out into the market for the cloud video service interrupt service. Okay, so that, that CVI or cloud video interrupt service will allow the the uh, legacy video systems that used to register to Skype uh, uh, to be able to make use of the cloud video interrupt service to join into a Teams meeting. An experience, we have done it in a way that's seamless uh, and that's what we're going to go into detail uh, later on. So that's for video, right? And this is the transition. Of course, you can at the same time while you are making a transition, you can already add some of the newer solutions that Poly has just really introduced into the mix as well. Because these, a lot of these solutions, for example, the one that I just added in the Studio X30, that can actually uh, work through work in a uh, work uh, through the in Teams through the uh, Cloud Video Interrupt service, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and so, and you've still got the Trio C60, for example, which I'll talk about later on, and that can work uh, in Teams, but also in the Skype environment as well. Okay. So, and also CCX phones also, they can run in both Skype and Teams mode. Right? So it's good to have that kind of products or solutions that can work in both environments, right? While you haven't migrated completely, you can still go ahead and buy them now. And we've got lots of discounts and promotions going on for those devices right now. So, and then when you're ready to move to flick the switch completely to Teams, it's just a device switch, right? You just need to go in there, say, I want this to now become a Teams phone. It reboots and voila, you have a native, fully native Teams device, okay? So the gateways that I mentioned, right? There are two ways to connect. Uh, so both voice and video, we have, of course, the ideal world, the native solutions. These are Microsoft development supported applications. Uh, that will run the native Teams app, and this will have to give customers the best experience when running in Teams environment, right? Now, for the video side of things, right, we also have the Real Connect service uh, and also the TreePip gateway, right? When you have non-native uh, devices, you always need to have some sort of intermediate, intermediary gateway, right? In the audio case, as I mentioned, it's the TreePip gateway that Microsoft provides. And that's a free gateway, by the way. There's no uh, nothing that customers need to do. They just need to uh, register their phones and it will work, right? Again, I mentioned it's just a limited set of features. And for the video side of things, it is really based on a cloud video service, uh, cloud video interrupt service such as Real Connect that will allow those uh, legacy video devices to join a team's meeting. Okay, so that's really a, a very high level of overview of the the different, uh, the, the journey itself. Okay, so how will we get there? Again, for the video side of things, it is through the video, the cloud video interrupt service, and we'll go more into detail on the cloud video interrupt service. Uh, and this will allow customers to continue to use the existing video devices to talk to teams, right? And while they make complete that, while, while they continue to have those native, uh, sorry, legacy devices, they will continue to use the cloud video interrupt service until such a point where they are completely native devices, such as those that you see on the right, then you can discontinue the real connect service. Okay. And the same goes with voice. I won't go into uh, repeat. It's essentially just a graphical uh, repeat of what, you, what I'm saying. So you can put in the uh, existing phones, for example, that will work with the TreePip gateway into Teams. And also, the, you can also start to introduce some of our newer native Teams handsets, which can also work in a Skype mode as well. Okay, And of course, not to forget the headsets that work both with Skype and Teams. So pretty much, uh, and slowly, we, we want to really, at the end of the day, in a pure Teams environment, you should not need to use any form of gateway or cloud video interrupt service. It should be completely native. Okay, that will give you the best experience. Best experience, sorry. All right, so if there are no questions, I'll just go ahead and jump into the first part. So Real Connect is, as I mentioned, uh, has been around for a long time, so I would not spend a lot of time talking about Real Connect, but you know, because I think many people already know this, but it's also good to still call it out. Real Connect is our cloud video interrupt solution that, that will allow the 
legacy video conferencing systems like Cisco's and Polycom's uh, legacy systems like group series will to be able to join a Teams meeting with just one touch join, right? It is available as a cloud service or as an on-premise uh, variant as well, okay? So it's easy to use, right? You just have to click on the Teams button in your Outlook calendar and straight away it will populate the video conferencing details onto the invitation, right? There is no third party plugin uh, and you, it is very familiar workflow that users are familiar with. All they need to do is after clicking the Teams button on their invitation is to send the invitation out to the participants, including those room endpoints, okay? Once those room endpoints receive the invitation, they just have to go to their controller or their remote control and press the join button and as easy as that, it will just join into the Teams meeting and you have the full uh, Teams meeting experience, right? Uh, both audio, video and content sharing as well, right? So Real Connect is offered primarily as a cloud service, right? Where customers don't have to install minimal installation that's required on premise, right? And there's also for certain customers who want to have invested in our on-premise on infrastructure, they can use the on-prem version as well, right? But by and large, I would say 90, 95% of our customers are using the cloud-based version. So our service is available uh, for a very long time already. It was not the first to launch, so it, and it actually is one of the few, or in fact, the only uh, cloud video interrupt, interrupt service that supports both Skype and Teams at the same time, right? Uh, so that is one of the advantage of going with Poly Real Connect. Uh, and it is, we also offer a 60 day trial, right? That customers can use to, can take advantage of to try it out and test it out before actually buying it. And then we're also offering free Real Connect licenses for all group series owners and trio customers. They, we're offering free licenses till end of next month. Okay, this promo started since last year and we believe it or not today, even in end of May, we are still receiving requests for the free promotion service, right? So that's fine. Um, customers will have their group series or their trio, they can give us their serial numbers. We can give them the free license until June 2020. Experience wise, we've updated the experience as well. So it's going to be able to have a seamless joint experience, but now it also supports up to nine video streams, right? So as you probably have experienced by now, the Teams client is able to do three by three layout showing nine participants. And we also support the same three by three layout showing up to nine participants on the uh, video conferencing side as well. So that's very good news. So just quickly run through a bit of the license. I think, I think most of this is already familiar, so I wouldn't spend much time on it. Uh, there is a trial school that I mentioned, gives you 60 days free. And there is primarily the license is being sold as a concurrent service, concurrent license, right? So if you intend to have 10 concurrent licenses, then that will give you 10 calls into our Real Connect service. And these will support backward compatibility with Skype for Business, okay? Um, so we also have a bursting skill, right? That's for those one in one time kind of town hall meetings as well. And an important thing to note here is that this service is all in one. The price is all in one, right? So we do, you don't have to pay any additional for Azure, uh, the bandwidth or any of the high availability features. All that is built in into the product. So the price that customers pay is the fixed price per concurrent license. There is no hidden charges whatsoever, okay? and. We also recently, uh, since March, we have reduced the price of the Real Connect service, and now we offer it at just sixty-nine dollars a month, right, per concurrent connection, and for a year that goes for eight hundred and eleven, uh, and for three years that's uh, slightly over two thousand dollars. So this is much, much reduced from the initial price, which was uh, a lot more. So this is representing almost a seventy plus percent uh, decrease in the pricing of Real Connect uh, since we launched it. So very good, again, very good news for the market, good news for our customers. And last but not least, the thing about Real Connect is that we offer one touch dial. And I know other uh, vendors also provide one touch dial in their cloud video interrupt service, but the Poly Cloud uh, Poly one touch dial service is unique in the sense that it supports both Cisco and Polycom endpoints, right? So that's important because Cisco and Polycom uh, endpoints represent, you know, 80% of all the endpoints that's out in the marketplace today. So it's good to just support 
uh, Cisco endpoints, but it's even better to be able to support both Polycom and Cisco. And it's even better still that we don't charge anything at all. We don't charge a single cent for customers to use the one touch dial service. It's included absolutely free of charge when customers get onto Real Connect, even the Real Connect trial, right? You can get it for free. Uh, for the one touch dial for free. Okay. So uh, that will allow you to test it out and that gives you the one touch joint. It's a very simple configuration. Just go to the portal, uh, register your your uh, where your exchange server is, and then put in the service account, and then we are good to go. Okay, so we have documented all these steps very clearly in our website. So it should be no problem for any uh, customer to join it. Uh, to make use of this application, all right? And finally, we have the reports, right? So customers can go into this report. Again, this report is reported free of charge to all ReConnect customers. It gives them the visibility and insights into the usage, you know, how much they're using, how many calls they're currently on, how well, what are the call fail reasons and things like that. So very good service for analytics and also for uh, troubleshooting, you know, how your system's going, okay? so. Are there any questions for uh, Real Connect service before I move on to uh, enhancing productivity in the home office? The next topic. None at the moment for you, Brown. We've been answering some in the live Q and A, so great. We'll continue. Great, great, excellent, awesome stuff. Okay, so enhancing productivity in the home office. Why is this important? I think, like many of you, I'm working from home, and I have been working from home over the last two months since our lockdown because of the pandemic. And so it is so important now that companies want to provide their employees with the right tools that they can use when they're working from home. And many companies, even after the lockdown, right, is going to continue to encourage their employees to work from home wherever possible. So it's important that Poly has not has really been in this space for a very long time, right? We have been providing headsets, speaker phones, and even some of those phones, uh, desktop phones for these uh, these uh, customers that want to use this uh, equipment at home, right? And so because it's all based on Teams, it's just a cloud service. You don't need to have uh, you just all you need is an internet connection. Right? So that's the beauty of having uh, using it in a Teams environment, uh, and. With our solutions, we have every a solution to match every different kind of work style, right? So first and foremost, our headsets that customers may already have today, they are certified for Skype for Business, will work with Teams, right? Uh, call controls will work, build, up, mute, call, answer, up volume are all supported in Teams, okay? And we are also recertifying and certifying new products. Okay, let me say that again. We are recertifying existing headsets and speakerphones and, and newly certifying new headsets and uh, speakerphones for Teams, right? And you see a lot of that in the coming slide itself, right? Of course, not to mention we have Plantronics Manager Pro, which you can use to provide insights for the, our headsets, analytics, and also being able to upgrade the firmware of those headsets remotely, right? So it's so important, right? Because users are going to bring your headset home and they're going to use it at home and then your IT is not going to come to their house to upgrade the firmware, right? So the good news is that the Plantronics Manager Pro, Pro is able to, from the cloud, able to push out updates over the internet into the uh, headsets. So let's get into the exciting stuff, right? We have brand new headsets uh, that are optimized for Microsoft Teams. When I say optimized, means that they are not only certified, they actually are built specifically for Teams in the sense that it even has the Teams button on the device itself, right? So these are the brand new Voyager 4200 and 5200. I really like this new design. It's a much modern looking design compared to the one I'm using right now. Um, but I've, I've placed orders for this, believe me, since last year and I can't get hold of it because there's so much demand for our poly headsets over the last two months that there's like literally thousands on in the backlog. So of course customers come first. Whatever stock we get, we will definitely ship them out to our customers first. And employees like James and myself, we, we are the last on the list, right, to get uh, our latest and greatest products. So anyway, uh, it's it's okay. Our current systems are still are still working fine. But you know, these are really delivered to perfect to, to deliver the brand new uh, Teams experience. So it's got really good Bluetooth connection uh, with great range and it's got your superior audio quality, different kinds of wearing styles, right, for to suit different kind of users. So those who are on the go, uh, really traveling a lot, uh, they prefer to have that 
uh, in the year uh, piece, right? Like the Voyager 5200, 50, that's got really excellent wind noise protection and all of the other acoustic features. Or they may want to, like me, prefer to have a, a one that's over the ear, over the head, a headset, all right? And that if you're mic with the, uh, and it's got really good noise uh, uh, insulation from the outside world as well. And it's got great audio uh, pickup and you can hear the far side really well as well. Okay, so Teams button is meant to really give you indications uh, of what act what activities may be going on in your Teams uh, client that is paired with, and pressing the Teams button will also bring up the Teams client into the forefront in whatever device that you are paired with. Okay, so I'd also like to call out the Voyager 4245. This is an interesting headset in the sense that it has unlimited talk time. It is one and only a uh, Teams certified headset that has got a hot swappable battery, right? So literally you can, and it's so lightweight, right? It's, uh, it, it is, you, we can wear this, you know, either uh, three different wearing styles as a ear loop, as a headband or as a neckband, and it is so light and it is, gives you a hot swappable battery. So literally you can just talk, you know, nonstop for the whole day with this device without having to recharge it, okay? So of course comes with all the great audio quality that poly, uh, Pantronics headsets are, uh, known for as well. So that's the Voyager 4245. We have also the brand new Blackwire 3300. This is actually a, a consumer-like design, but it's built for the enterprise. Okay, it's got very comfortable uh, cushion headbands, right? And again, supports Teams, has the Teams button in there for you to bring up the Teams client and show indications if, if there is, then if, if needed. And it's got, of course, supports the Plantronics Plantronics Manager Pro that will allow IT managers to remotely uh, look at the usage, analysis, analytics, and also to upgrade the firmware as well. Okay, so this is the uh, a very good, I'm using a black wire right now, by the way, it's a 5050, uh, 55 to 5225, right? And this one is actually the uh, 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 sort of like a sister for to that, right? It's a light, light, more lightweight model uh, with uh, comfortable cushions. From uh, and this is more in say I could say it's our entry level uh, wired headset. We move from entry level to our top of the range, right? And this is the black wire 8225. Man, do I want to get my hands on one of these? It's got some of the more, most advanced features you can get anywhere on a headset. For example, it actually has something called uh, acoustic fans, right? It's able to noise cancel uh, the microphone, you know, uh, the, from external noise. It's got very, it's got hybrid. Uh, automatic noise cancellation as well, right? So there are actually six microphones in this device, two on the Microsoft Boom and two on each ear cup, right? So that will give you very advanced kind of noise cancellation. You can literally shut out all the external noise, uh, whether it, if you're working from home, it could be a vacuum cleaner, it could be someone the, mowing the lawn outside your home, or it could be an airplane flying by. All those noises are going to be attenuated to a degree that they, the far side can't hear it at all, okay? So this is our top of the range, black wire 8225. That's you know coming very, very soon to the market Q3. Okay. Um, and of course, not to mention our speaker phones, right? These are again very popular with people like who like to use it in their small huddle rooms or uh, moving around from one room to another, right? So it's because it's so portable. So we have the Callisto 53 and 5200. These are brand new models that are team certified and Teams optimized as well. So they too come with the Teams button and uh, it will bring up the Teams client and these have very good design. So it's clean design, clean manage, uh, cable, cable management, right? And it's got multi-point Bluetooth connectivity, right? For the 5300 and for the 5200, it's got USB A and C connectivity, okay? So sound quality is great. If you haven't tried one of these, do get one from one of your poly representatives and try it out. For yourself, I'm sure you would like it. Okay. So we also have the cameras, right? So some of, some most of the time people want to use like a built-in camera on their laptops, but there are some cases where they want to have a much better uh, camera, right? For example, they may be using it to shoot a video, or maybe uh, you know do do conduct a self scout training that they need to show uh, certain things in their in their environment. So having a higher end camera can fulfill that requirement. Right, so this is a Polyka Poly Eagle Eye Cube camera. It has a very good uh, uh, high uh, 4K uh, sensor, right, with five times digital zoom, and it, has, it also comes with automatic group framing as well, right? Great field of view, 120 degrees, 
right? And it works extremely well with uh, Polygon Trio, which is a group series, right? And it also works just as a PC camera, right? Just, it's a USB device, just plug it into your PC in Windows 10 and you will, you're good to go. Okay, so this is one of those devices that uh, customers can consider on their home as well. CCX400 is moving on to our IP handphones. Now, IP desktop phones are typically used in the office, right? But I do want to call out here that it can also be used in the home office as well, right? So you do you don't want to for those of you who do not want to be wearing a headset all day long, you may you, you you prefer to have that handset feel. These are all again all you need is the internet connection, right? This will allow you to log into Teams, right? And so the CCX400 is our entry level phone. It is uh, uh, comes with Android 9 OS, five inch display, and it's got great poly, poly HD voice. Right, and so it supports USB extensions and optional uh, dongles for future uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Okay, so a very basic phone, but it's functional. It gives you all the Teams features that uh, Microsoft provides in the Teams clients. However, if you need a higher end version, which is integrated Bluetooth, for example, you want to pair it with your Bluetooth headset and you want to have a dedicated Teams button, then the next logical choice is the CCX500, what we call the mainstream uh, uh, model. Right, this has almost the same features, except that it has the Teams button. That in the future, it will be uh, enabling more advanced features like natural language support uh, and uh, other indication, indi service indicator as well. So, this particular model has integrated Bluetooth, so you don't need any dongles for that, and it will support both Type A and Type C USB connections, if you will. Right, so there is a model that comes with the handset and those that comes without handset as well. Right, uh, so you can use that USB as a hands uh, to plug in your uh, headset. So if you if you want to buy something for an executive like your your CEO or your CXO or your director or your board of directors, then having them uh, the next model would be a more uh, suitable version. Right, it gives you a much larger screen. Uh, it comes with a seven inch uh, display instead of five inch. It's a, and it's a landscape mode, so you can see a lot more details. Uh, but same come with Android 9, some with, come with a great poly HD voice, acoustic fans features, acoustic clarity features, and also we'll have a dedicated Teams button. Now this one comes with integrated, integrated Bluetooth and integrated Wi-Fi as well. So it's so great for those executives who want to bring their phone home. They just have to turn on the Wi-Fi function, connects to their home Wi-Fi, and then they can use it as an office phone. Okay, so very, very uh, useful for those environments. So, as you know, just, just one or two slides before we move on to the, the next uh, topic. And this is something that Microsoft just released with version 5.9.13. And you can find this uh, uh, version in the Teams Admin Center already, right? So it gives you the ability to add your favorites, right? Something that we've been asking for since the longest time, I can't remember when, but when we first launched the Teams phones, everyone was asking, where are, the, where are my favorites? Well, here it is, it's here. No, uh, no, no. It's uh, it's what as what customers ask, and it's also very easy for you to add those favorites, right? You can you can not just well, not only add your company contacts, you can also add external numbers as well. Okay, so these are all the new features. One of some of the new features included with the five nine thirteen release, which is again already already available on our website and also on the Microsoft Teams Admin Center, and you can push that firmware out to your phone from the Teams Admin Center itself. Another feature that came out in 5.9.13 was the ability to manage your delegates on the phone. So here you can see that you've got, you can go to the settings on the phone. There'll be a manage delegates uh, menu. Click on that menu. It will allow you to search for and to add delegates into your uh, account, right? So here I've added, I'm going to allow Susan, for example, to make calls and receive calls on my behalf, right? Click on the checkbox button and there you go. Just added Susan as a delegate into my uh, on my phone and the uh, and Susan using a CCX phone will also be notified that now she has been added as a delegate uh, for me as well. OK, so these are all the brand new features and because it's a cloud service, Microsoft is always going to be adding new and wonderful features into Teams, which will then customers will then make you uh, be able to leverage and make use of once their phones are upgraded to the correct versions. OK, so time check uh, halfway through. So again, I'd like to stop here for a while if there are any questions that uh, have not been answered in the chat. Oh, good, Brennan. Chat is clear at this present time. Great, great. Thanks, Damien. 
So let's move on to our next and final topic, right? And optimizing meeting room experiences. Now, why is this important? You may ask uh, when everyone's working from home, right? Well, it, it's it's no, it, it's it's obviously that this pandemic is not going to last forever, right? At some point in time, hopefully soon, this pandemic is going to be over and users are, and customers are going to be start going back to their offices, even though maybe not all at once, maybe slowly in phases, but eventually they're going to be going back to those offices and those huddle rooms and meeting rooms and boardrooms are going to be used again, right? And so since they already moved work from home and they already used the Teams experience at home, when they go back to the office, the last thing you want to do is suddenly, oops, it's a different environment. You want to preserve that great Teams environment experience of Teams working experience when they were, while they were at home and repeat or, or and allow that same experience when they go back to the office. So here we're talking about the devices that are meant for the native Teams solutions and important when users start going back to the office. So the Polish Studio has been a premium, uh, it's has been uh, launched for quite a while right now, almost two years right now, and it's a premium USB bar. All right, it has uh, very aggressively priced and it's got very good features that many of our competitors, when you compare uh, class for class, it is it is it is a, a much more superior uh, device, right? So it's the best in class video bar that you can get in the market today. It comes with built in automatic speaker tracking and group framing. And I'll show you some of the a video of some of how it works right now. And also the acoustic fans and noise block technologies, right? None of the other vendors provide this kind of uh, value added technology and features into that that can put into that all in one video device, right? So again, it's got a 4K resolution, 12 feet microphone pickup. Right, it's able to mount it above or below the screen, right? And five times digital zoom and 120 degree field of view. And more importantly, we can remotely manage this using resource manager or, PD, or, or cloud service uh, called PDMS or PolyLens. Okay, so while it's great, we want to, we may deploy hundreds or even thousands of these. It's important to be able for IT, excuse me, to manage this on a central level. And that's exactly what you can do with Studio together with our resource manager uh, cloud service, uh, uh, PDMS cloud service, okay? And so this is uh, the different mounting options. So just thought, just in case you, you, you're not aware, you're able to just, it comes with a stand that you can actually put it just on the table itself, underneath the screen, or you can actually choose to mount it above or below the screen, right? So different mounting options. And all you need to do is, for it to work, is just put in the power and put in the USB connection from this device to your PC or your laptop. Right, and you can run any software on any meeting room software uh, on your laptop to make it work. Hopefully, Teams, of course, right? Where it does also work with other uh, applications as well. So the next thing that's exciting is the Trio C60, right? This is our brand new flagship conference phone. It's a successor, right, to the very popular Trio 8500 and 8800 series. So as you can see on the screen, it's a brand new industrial design much more approachable look and feel right and of course it comes with much faster hardware as well right we're looking at four times faster performance with android 9 because of its chipset right and it's a 20 feet pickup range and of course it supports both wi-fi uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz 5 inch touch display and now we've put in the mute and volume buttons all on three sides of the device right so you don't have to stretch your hand if you just press on the button that's closest to you and also adds things like noise block ai and proximity sensor as well. So all added features there, we've made it even better, right? So the Trio 8800 and 8500 was already very popular and very great conference phones. So now how do you make those even better? The answer is the C60. And if you notice that right now, uh, we can use the Trio uh, as, a, as a controller as well, right? In the future as a controller as well for our newer products as well, okay? so. Uh, there's cable management and, and locking underneath uh, built into to the to the device so it allows you to manage your cable as well and so that you don't accidentally disconnect it you also have wireless or uh, wired expansion mics that's going to be available again it's a brand new design right? it's much more elegant looking right uh, and we're also going to support a wireless uh, expansion mics in the future as well right so trio c60 already certified for teams you can run it today using in a native teams mode uh, with the 360 as a conference phone. 
So the next exciting thing is the Studio X line. Now this we launched last year, right? Together with in, in the Microsoft Ignite. Uh, not Ignite, was it Ignite? It was one of the events, right? And so this is going to be launching very, very soon. In fact, we expect it to be out within the next couple of weeks, okay? And it is our Studio X30, X50 family of collaboration bars, right? The collaboration bar is a brand new category of device that Microsoft has included in their device portfolio, certified teams device portfolio. And Poly is one of the first to come up with this, right? And it is uh, running the Android, uh, operating operating system with the Microsoft Teams application built in, right? So you will get a full native Teams experience when you put this device into your meeting room. Okay, so it comes in two flavors. The X50 is the bigger brother of the X50, right? Designed for huddle to small spaces. Okay, right, and um, it comes with a controller. Right, so it, it will have the TC8, which I'll talk about later on, as the primarily the main controller, but it does support touch screen as well. All right, so this is actually very exciting uh, software. We have seen again a huge backlog for this uh, device since we launched it, All right? Uh, so we see this is going to be very popular. And uh, you can, if you're not already on Teams, you can still uh, put one of these devices in today and use it uh, uh, in the in. So if you're using still, uh, yeah. So if you're using in Teams, you can. Uh, it's not yet out. It's not yet out, right? The Teams application is not out, but I said it's going to be out in a few weeks. And in the meanwhile, if you buy this now, you can still connect it to Teams using Real Connect, right? But as I said, in a few weeks' time, literally two or three weeks, you would have to just need to do a software upgrade of the firmware, and it will run native Teams on it. There's no more need to use any Real Connect uh, video interrupt service. Okay, so it's really good news for our customers who are on Teams. So uh, the collaboration bar is meant to work with uh, the TC8 as a controller. It is a eight inch touch display, a touch screen that you can put on the on the tabletop, right? And this will, con con will pair with the uh, Studio X30 or X50 over the wire, over the ethernet, right? So it's also PoE powered. So while you need just one cable, one PoE cable into the back of the TC8 controller, and it will just uh, be able to serve as a controller Right, for the uh, Studio uh, X30, X50, right? So uh, functions that's available in there include things like joining meeting, mute, unmute, dial pads, and so on and so forth, right? So this is one of the options, right? You can, like I said, it also supports touch screen. So if you're, if you're one of those who like to walk up to the screen and you have a touch monitor, you can connect the USB port of the touch monitor to the Studio X30, and it will actually, you can use your finger to actually navigate the controls on the screen itself, right? Um, but if you're lazy like me, I always like to sit on the table, and that's where I would really want to have the TC8. The good news is that not only can you use a TC8, if you have a Trio, uh, either a Trio C60 or even an existing Trio 8800 or 8500, they can be repurposed as a controller for Studio X as well. Although not at launch, right, it's not yet ready. We are still in the work uh, de developing the software for it, but we do expect it to be supported sometime in a Q3 timeframe, and you can use your Trio as a controller uh, for the uh, the Studio X30 or X50. Okay, so it's a good as this uh, upgrade path for existing Visual Plus customers. So instead of just you know you're not sure what to do with the Trio 88 or 8500, well you can use it as a controller for your Studio X30 X50, and you can also control the uh, the speaker and a microphone on where you want to use uh, which device you want to use as a speaker and a mic. Okay. Studio X30 in Teams mode, right? It comes uh, with or without controllers. So again, the monitor support is uh, one for each, right? Because the Teams client currently only supports, uh, the Teams client for the collab bus only supports one monitor. So that's one. And then speakers is mono versus stereo and the microphone pickup is slightly higher for the X50. It's a bigger device, has more zoom as well. Okay. And so everything else is pretty much the same. Okay. So, Again, for those small to medium to huddle rooms, these are a great solution for those native Teams devices. And so the accessories it comes with is the TC8 as a controller. I would recommend customers to buy it as a bundle. And then also there are, this, there are different mounting options that you can do as well for the X30, X50. Now, in the interest of time, I won't go into uh, a lot of detail. Just to suffice to say that uh, there is, it comes with a clamp for the X30 and it comes with a wall mount for the X50. Now, if you add, there are, there are optional components that you can buy, for example, a, a visa mount, 
that you can mount those uh, into the, on top of the screen as well. Okay, so the collaboration bars for Teams are going to be able to administer via the Teams Admin Center. Right? If you go into the Teams Admin Center today and go under Devices, you will see that there is a phone section for managing your CCX phones, and there's also a collab bars section that will allow you to manage your collaboration bar, right? And so this will allow you to see the status, it will allow you to look at the logs, it will allow you to see the, uh, and also the, the, also allow you to reboot the device and also to upgrade the firmware of the device itself, right? So if this is not enough, right? We can also manage it using PDMSE or Lens, uh, Poly uh, Cloud Management Software, uh, a cloud management service to actually manage those devices as well. Okay, so the choice is the customers. Personally, I think to make it simple, just use the Teams Admin Center wherever possible. If that is not enough, then you can feel free to add on the Poly uh, PDMS or Lens. Okay, but manageability is really top of mind for IT managers when they actually deploy these devices, especially if they're going to deploy hundreds of these devices. So I'm going to play a couple of quick videos before I end this session. So I talked a little bit about the uh, smooth tra uh, automatic speaker tracking and group framing technologies. So what better way to explain how those features work than to show you a quick video, right? So I'm going to play this video. Hopefully you can hear the audio. I've already got my uh, system audio shared. So I'm going to go ahead and roll it and Damien or James do let me know if the audio cannot be heard. Let's take a look at Poly's next generation group framing and speaker tracking experiences that are part of Poly Meeting AI. So I've got group framing turned on in one of our Poly solutions. Now I'm the only one in the room, so I'm the only one being seen. But once my colleagues Bob and Joe come into the space, then you'll see how the camera will automatically sense that and readjust its view to show all three of us at the same time. So now we've enabled speaker tracking. So even though Bob and Joe are still in the room with me, the camera's focused on me because I'm the one actively talking. But when I begin to speak, the camera's gonna make a quick cut to myself and put me right smack dab in the center of the screen. And then if I start speaking, because I'm a bit closer to Bob, the camera's gonna nice and gently ease up to me and frame me in the center. So that's one really important point of this next generation experience is it's changing different things in different ways depending on where people are located in the dynamics of the conversation. Like if I toss it back to Joe, if I start speaking again from the other side, you'll notice that the system has recognized that Brian and I are in a conversation and has gone into conversation mode. So it's got a lot more intelligence to understand the dynamics of the conversation and where people are to always present the best view and change in the best way depending on what's going on. To learn more, visit us at poly.com. All right, I hope you're able to see that video and it just shows you how advanced technologies that we have built in into our solutions right, that make the experience the experience so much better, right? So uh, if you can, so these are all, all the advantages that you will have when you go with Poly as your uh, preferred solution provider for Microsoft Teams. And the next video I'd like to show you is the Noise Block AI, another new innovation that we've, we have introduced into the Poly Studio X family and also the G7500. So we first introdu introduced Noise Block many years ago, but we have now incorporated artificial intelligence into the Noise Block to make it even better. Right? So I'm going to play the video uh, again for you to see how it actually is like. Hi, thank you for joining me today. I'm here to talk to you about a couple new features that Polly's introduced to its Studio X family as well as the G7500. Hey Bob, sorry. Uh, well, actually, this is one of the things I wanted to demonstrate for you. It's called Noise Block AI. From time to time, we have unwanted noise creep into the conference room or to your home office. It may not be a vacuum cleaner, but it could be HVAC noise. It might be emergency vehicles zipping by the window. So Polly's introduced some technology called Noise Block AI that will block that unwanted noise from getting into the call, but still allowing your voice to be transmitted clearly. So let me go ahead and activate that through the web interface. Noise Block AI is now activated. You should hear my voice clearly, and the vacuum cleaner, that noise should have gone away almost completely. This can be used for all sorts of noises in all different types of environments. Just one of the cool features that Polly's introduced to the Studio X family in G7500. Thanks for your time today, and please visit us at Polly.com. All right, thanks. Okay, so 
Now that's uh, in those videos. Hopefully it gives you a good idea. So I saved the best for last. OK, I know we are close to the end, so, but I really have wanted to save this for the last. Polly, hey, hey, Brennan. Oh, yes, a, yes. A quick question before we move on that um, you can answer quickly, but it's around uh, natural language processing. So the Poly Studio X does uh, use a speech to kick off a meeting. Is that enabled yet? And I think that's more of a question around Microsoft features and support for natural language processing. Um, any comment around that? Yeah, so as what you rightly pointed out, it's a, it's really a Microsoft uh, feature. So we are like, for example, our phone CCX phones, we have the Teams button that's all ready to be activated once that feature is out. But that's certainly something that is in the works. We don't know a time frame, for, unfortunately, um, but you, it, it is definitely coming and it will definitely be supported on our devices. Can, okay. can I also add that there's there's been some some Microsoft kind of advanced demos that have been held, uh, for example, at Ignite last year that showed some of the kind of voice activated meeting room type technology. So it is something that Microsoft is is working on. We okay. just haven't seen it uh, land as a as an option just yet. Right, correct. But great question though, great question though, very forward looking. So uh, machine language and uh, so machine learning and uh, natural language processing are all going to be things that we incorporated for everything from headsets to phones to even your car in the future, right? So expect it to be, expect great things to come in, in the very near future. So in the interest of time, I like to cover off the last part, but most exciting part, the Poly Microsoft Teams room. As you know, this has been a solution that has been uh, lacking in our portfolio for, for a long time. And customers have been asking us when is Poly going to come up with their own Microsoft Teams room solution. And happy to announce that here it is, right? It is our uh, fully Poly branded and many uh, Poly made MTR, right? What you see on the screen is actually our controller. It looks a bit like the TC8, but it's not the TC8, it's the GC8, right? So it has a lot more components to it. As you can see, it's functioning as the Teams room uh, console, this uh, console controller, right? So it is, our solution will, part, we are partnering with Lenovo to come with their uh, PC, right? It includes a poly image. Right, and so we've you know shipped this together with this GC8 touch control, and this is we are actually in the final stages of certification with Microsoft. We expect it to launch like uh, in just uh, coming few weeks time. Right, in fact there is a webinar tomorrow uh, that will be out between Tom Ilya, the head of the product division in Teams, and our uh, executive vice president Tom Puro. And they're going to come up with a webinar to introduce this product itself, right? So if you're not already on that webinar, do uh, do look out for it. It's actually going to be publicly uh, broadcast tomorrow. So MTR, this solution is not going to be in a past whereby we used to sell the HP uh, slides uh, or the Lenovo Smart Hub as a separate device. That means the distributor has to buy from Lenovo or from HP separately. This is going to be an all-in-one from all from Poly solution. Right? You just need to order this from Poly. Poly will include the PC, the controller, and all the software, all bundled and pre-installed, ready to ship to our distributors. Right. So it is that uh, experience that we, that kind of purchasing, simple purchasing experience that we have. So this is what the back of the uh, GC8 looks like. It's an eight-inch LCD display and the angle is such in such a way that it's actually quite nice that you sit down on the table it, it, you, you can look at it very comfortably uh, with, with just sitting down on the table you don't have to adjust the angle at all okay so eight inch we find that it's not too big also not too small right it's just nice enough for you to type on the screen but yet doesn't occupy too much real estate on the table right at the back of it we've got different ports again those are for HDMI inputs your H your USB type A and type C for your uh, USB type A for your peripherals for example connecting a speakerphone like Trio and then we have a type C connector which goes to the PC at the back of the room and also a power input just for the power and also we've got a 3.5 mm headset jack right it also come with built-in proximity sensor and it also come with Kensington lock and it will have integrated secure cable management. So these will be the cable cables will be nicely tucked in, right? And there are specific holes for these for specific types of cables. And there'll be also be a, a plate that will hold this cable down securely. So once you cover up, it'll be very difficult to remove the cables. It won't so you won't have to users accidentally trip over the wires and then uh, connecting the system. No, that's not going to happen, right? So it's very securely uh, uh, into it's very secure into the unit itself. 
right? So uh, for the PC itself, we've created like a, uh, a chassis where you to actually put it mounting against the wall. It's a nice design. It not only has the ventilation, it also has the place for to put the uh, power adapter. And so you can actually easily access the cables even when you put this uh, this uh, this sort of chassis on, right? So you make it look nice uh, and neat, right? The cables will come out of it, and um, it is also meant is meant to house the Lenovo M920 Q. Okay, so you will mount this at the back, and these are the three bundles that we're going to market with, right? The G10, G40, and G8. Okay, so these are targeted at uh, the first one is actually bring your own uh, speaker, mic, and display. Okay, that means the customer already have those. You just need to buy the base unit and the PC. Uh, that will be that will be the ideal solution for that. And then for customers who want to have small to medium rooms, then we bundle it with a studio. That's all in one speaker, mic, and camera, all in one. So it's just a very simple, clean design. Uh, and then for those very large rooms, you want to have the G80, which comes with the Eagle Eye Director and the Trio, right, to cover that audio acoustics for the larger room and also for the Eagle Eye Director with its uh, 12 times zoom uh, to be able to cover everyone in the room and to match and frame the right speaker, right? So, so these three bundles will be the initial bundles going out to market. Uh, and uh, really, it is uh, these are really exciting times. It will be out very, very soon. It will be in the price list on June 1st. And then it'll be available for ordering uh, in June itself and then start shipping in July. Okay, so here's a, a quick video to show you the MTR itself. Hey there, so I know we didn't have uh, Enterprise Connect um, and we've been getting uh, alpha units in of our Poly Microsoft Teams room solution. So, I figured it'd be worthwhile just creating a short video and just showing you uh, how things are working. Uh, it might be useful for some of your customers. And this is also representative of what we're going to be giving to our beta customers as well for the Microsoft Teams room solution. So um, what we've got here, we've got the Lenovo uh, M920Q, which is our compute that we're going to be uh, bundling uh, with the GCA, which you can see here. Um, the, uh, the, the PC is loaded with uh, currently with a beta version of our, our poly image, which has some poly specific drivers on uh, and software components. Um, we have, uh, so in this setup, I'm actually using the GCA connected to the Lenovo. I've got the USB uh, three fiber cable connected between the two. Uh, and I'm currently using the Eagle Eye Cube as my, uh, my camera device. So, like any other MTR, we can click, we can join a meeting. meeting. Mute that. Um, and so everything connects normally. Um, you can see the UI has been optimized um, for um, this eight-inch display as well. So I'm just going to leave the call here. Um, and um, we're still working with Microsoft on some scaling issues, but. Um, things like the keyboard is uh, filling the screen quite nicely. It's very usable. Um, so we're, we're very happy with the size um, of the display. Um, touch is working extremely well. Uh, I can also... Uh... Okay, so uh, I'm just cut the video short in interest of time and just wrap up with just a quick diagram. Uh, so the MTR essentially for the for the G40 bundle will be, will be a studio. Uh, device okay and it's actually USB connection back to the PC and then you have one USB cable from the controller to the PC so right, for the eGuide director it's slightly more cables there will be a trio that's required right, with a LAN connection to actually pair with the uh, eGuide director but all these things you can uh, work out with the system integrator so Damien has a lot of experience uh, dealing with the room integrations so I'd like to for, if you have any questions you can uh, talk to Damien regarding the cabling and the other features so last slide before I go on to competition these are some of the features that differentiate between the team's room and the collab bars, right? Mostly similar, but there are one or two items which are available on Teams room that's not available on the collab bars. So as you are planning out your room size and your requirements, these are, it's a good reference chart to actually look at to see what's available, what's capable of Teams room versus what's capable of collab bar, right? In some cases, Teams would, would make the best sense, 
right? Um, and then what, whereas for other cases, we have a small room, you need a very simple setup, then collaboration bar would be the ideal solution, right? So really talk to your reseller, right? Uh, talk to your partner that you're, you're familiar with. Uh, someone like Damien can certainly give a very good assessment of your room and then effort and recommend you with the right kind of uh, solution for your room. OK, so we are, up, we are on to time, so I just like to close off with the last slide, which is the competition. So if you want to participate, this is the QR code. Just scan it and you'll be able to win uh, prizes uh, for this uh, this week's contest. Right. So we are a bit over two minutes. I'm sorry for that. So um, I'd like to now open it to to anyone who has any questions to, to close or just to uh, or we can wrap up the session. So Damien and James, are you still? Are there any questions? No questions at the moment, Brennan, but we'll leave it open for a few minutes. And if anyone has any any questions, we'll be here to answer them. Yeah. So, so Damien, how do you think of the uh, MTR solution? Do you think, uh, you know, in your experience of dealing with the uh, MTR solutions, you've deployed many of these. You know, how, how does our design look like? How do you think it will be? Yeah, uh, it's look, it's it's uh, having the separate PC compute. I think is really important when we do these deployments. Um, when we first started deploying Microsoft Teams Room solutions, having the the PC compute on the table, whilst it made it uh, cost effective, it didn't necessarily make cabling easy. Mm -hmm. So having the the ability to have that NUC at the front of the room with that mm -hmm. USB cable to the device. Um, is really useful. Um, should also point out that cable that you're shipping with is a fiber optic USB cable. I That's think a 10, 10 meter cable is what it ships with. Right. Uh, and an option for 25 and 40 meter cables, um, which has often been the, the biggest issue. Right. Um, so yeah, I, I quite like the approach. And I think we should also call out the Eagle Eye Director V2 as a camera solution, particularly in those larger spaces like training rooms and things like that, where it might not just be you know, a table down the middle of the room. It might actually be four tables dotted around the room or a U-shaped table. Eagle Eye Director V2 is absolutely the, the camera solution that is capable of handling those types of spaces. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, for those large rooms, definitely someone like yourself will be very important to put in the, the different uh, components, the cabling, and also customers may have things like ceiling mics and uh, table mics that they want to integrate with. So those require some third party components to be included as well, and that's where your, you know, definitely partners such as yourself would be of great uh, importance, right? Um, so yeah, so and I uh, hopefully this session gives you a good idea of all the different products. Like I said, we launched a lot of products over the last twelve months: the C60, the new headsets, the CCX phones, uh, collab bars, and now the MTR. So it's certainly very exciting times. So uh, we are five minutes over. I'd like to perhaps close it off right now, unless James or Damien, you have any uh, any additional comments? So there was there was one last question around um, pricing for MTR bundles. Uh, I believe Brennan said that would be released 1st of June. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? I'm looking at James Ware's little video to see if he nods up and down or not. <laughs> yeah, he's nodding up and down. Thank you, James. Uh, so so that that will be uh, available through partners such as myself at InSync or other partners that that do poly as well uh, so only a few more days and we'll be able to get our hands on that correct james will give you a great discount on the on the on the, on the mtrs <laughs> <laughs> okay i might pass back to you james to, to for closing comments yeah perfect so Thank you everyone for joining us during the, the session. I hope that was informative, gave you an overview of, of where we've come from, but equally where we're at now and, and where we're moving forward with the native devices for Microsoft Teams. Um, so a big thank you to everyone who's attended and equally thank you to um, Damien um, for co producing the event, very exciting to, to see all that can go on with the uh, live platform. And uh, most of all, thank you to Brennan uh, for sharing your views and, and presenting the content. So thank you very much. Um, we'll publish the whole session on YouTube, I believe, and so we'll, we'll share that after the event if you want to go and review. And um, 
feel free after this if you have questions and things like that. I'll post my details in the Q and A. Um, you're welcome to reach out, and we'll we'll loop back and uh, happy to answer questions after the event. But yeah, thank you everyone, and enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. Thank you, James. Thank you, Thanks, Damien. Thanks, Thanks guys, everyone. Have a good day. Bye bye.